this problem, all right? So um, in this case, when you guys are looking at this, what we have is we have two triangles and we have the heights, right? These are the two, I'm sorry, the two altitudes. Now what I previously told you was the proportion of the altitudes is equal to the proportion of the lengths of the triangle. Yes? That's what we wrote down. So you can say the proportion, you can go big to small, small to big, it doesn't matter. 15 over 7.5, that is the ratio of the heights or the altitudes. That is equivalent to all of the ratios of the sides of the triangle. So what sides of the triangles do we have? Well, we have this slant, and it looks like that's going to be the exact same slant for the similar triangle. So if I went from large to small, I'm going to go large to small again. And now I have created a proportion with an equal sign that now I can solve for x. Yes? Can you use these 17 over 15 equals 7 over 5? I'm sorry? 17 over 15 equals We want to go from triangle to triangle proportions. And I'll show you later why that's going to be important. But always when we're doing our proportions, go from, go from triangle to triangle, OK? So, but yes, for some problems, you will be able to do the same thing with that, Casey. But some problems, you will, it's not going to be possible. So just to avoid that, try to always go from triangle to triangle. So now I cross multiply. So I have 15 times x equals 17 times 7.5. Now, I do not know 17 times 7.5, so I'll type it. Wow, 15x equals what? 127.5. And then divide by 15. I, I know. I'm not saying it doesn't always, I'm not saying you can't work. But I'm just saying not all the problems is it going to be able to work out like that, okay?